Ladies and gents, welcome back to another MSFS 2024, Flight Sim 24 video. Today, quick little tutorial. If you're like me and you're using an RTX 3090, a 30 series card, um, and you'd like to double your FPS, then this is what's going to help. So basically, I've been talking to my friends and my, my dad. They've all got 40 series cards, and what they have is something I don't. So if we go into the settings, if you're using a 40 series card, you're going to have this NVIDIA DLSS frame generation setting. You don't have this if you've got a 30 series or less. This uh, option here just does not appear. So if you read in the top right, frame generation boosts frame rates by using AI to render additional frames. This feature requires a GeForce RTX 40 series graphics card. Obviously, I don't have a 40 series graphics card. I have an RTX 3090, a 30 series, but I've got the option. So what we're going to do, I'm going to give it a little test. And then I'll show you how to set it up yourself for your own. I think it only works with RTX cards. Uh, let me know down below if you've used it and it works. But this works for me. So if we, we've got the development mode on. If you don't know how to do the development mode, just go into your settings. Go down to the advanced options and click on development mode. So once we're in that, let's get back out of this. Let's get back in the plane. I'm currently at uh, Liverpool. So it's an add-on scenery. And I'm in the Phoenix A320. So two massive add-ons. Uh, and let's check our FPS. So if we go up to the debug, let's go display FPS. As you can see, sitting here at stand 52 at Liverpool uh, with easy 901, we're currently at 54, around 50, 54 FPS, 53, 54 FPS. So let's come out of this. Let me get rid of the display and let's go back into the settings. Let's click on the NVIDIA DLS SS frame generation. Let's go save and apply. And this should double. Our FPS, so now we're back where we were. Let's go debug, display FPS, and we're now at 104. Took a second, 104, 106, 90. So it's pretty much doubled the performance. Absolutely amazing. Well, well made up with that. So our FPS, our performance has been doubled using the two little plugins. I'll show you how to set these plugins up so if i quickly just uh let's just come off this boom let's come off that right so what you're going to do you're going to download the link will be down below you're going to download these two little folders well when you download it i'll just upload this full full folder it's going to be a zip folder so you're going to need something like winrar which is for your winzip to open this once you've got winrar you go inside uh, i used i'm not too sure on the difference in the versions i just basically just used this top one these two plugins, let's take them out of there. Let's put them on the desktop, put them in a new folder or on the desktop. And they're down here. Whoop. That one there and this one here. DBG help and DLSS to FSR. So copy these. And what we're going to do, these go into your install directory. I believe you could probably use these in most games. So let's go to this PC. I've got the Steam version of, of uh, Flight Sim 2024. Let's go into C drive. Let's go to the program files times 86. Let's go to Steam. Let's go to Steam apps. Common. And it's going to be limitless. Then in here is my install directory. So in here, I'm just going to right click, paste, and that's it. That's it done. Happy days. Right, so then we, what we're going to do, that's all done. So when we go back onto the flight sim, you'll now see that you have the frame generation tab, which you didn't have before. It works for me. I hope it works for you. I'm not too sure if it's just RTX cards uh, or just 30 series. I think it's just RTX cards. But if it works for you, let me know down below. Take care. Hope you like. Adios, amigos.